Hey guys, this is my uh, first version of my one axis gimbal. Uh, I've not made one of these before, so uh, it was interesting to uh, go through the learning process. So, as you can see, uh, I've made a little uh, aluminium basket here to hold the GoPro, uh, just riveted together. Um, it's then connected to a uh, metal geared digital servo. Uh, this is a Savox. I don't know if you can just see that there. Savox uh, servo here, and that's connected straight to the uh, the little basket here that I've made, which takes the GoPro nicely. And uh, yeah, it's uh, the wire then runs up and into the door at the minute, but I'll uh, wire that in hard. Uh, it goes straight up into the NASA, into the uh, I think it was the F1 position, and yeah, uh, it seems to be pretty good. So. Uh, that's how I've done it with just some little pieces of aluminium. Let's get the focus on there. You've got one strip of aluminium coming down here that holds the servo in. Um, it's just zip tied in at the moment. And then the uh, servo itself, the servo arms, uh, you've got screws going through the, uh, the metal here. just see that that's screwed in there into the little basket that I've made and so far it works nicely um, it's running at 50 Hertz 50 Hertz um, it's a 70 Hertz motor but um, the NASA assistant software at the moment only gives you 50 or 100 so I don't want to run it at 100 in case uh, I break it but yeah uh, this is the Mark 1 version so my first go at doing it you can still pivot it on its uh, point and that if I undo that a little bit more so yeah it seems to work quite well uh, I'll do some uh, onboard footage now so you can see what's actually going on and uh, what it looks like I don't even know what it looks like yet so let's see what happens